Okie doke. Got some uh, good news. Got a package in the mail with some stuff to go in my patch collection. And I got some bad news as far as railroading goes in Western North Carolina. Some bad news. Anyway, let's get this video started. Southern Rail Fan is the place for amazing videos of all types of trains. Southern Rail Fan, subscribe today. Okie doke, it's been a good day as far as my family goes and uh, working on the layout here. You can see some uh, odd stuff around on the layout and that's from my little great nephew Eli. I got to uh, his parents were out of town uh, unexpectedly this afternoon on business and I got a chance to go pick him up at the elementary school and the first thing he told me he wanted to do was go play with the trains. Now he doesn't like going and watching the trains. He's still at that age where the horn and stuff bothers him but we did uh, go over and catch uh, M652 and we'll check him out here in just a minute. But another thing, we got some stuff to add to the collection. Thank you, Mr. Gary. A Department of Corrections, New Jersey ball cap. Uh, Vietnam veteran U.S. Coast Guard patch to go on my I Love Me wall. Uh, MVPA patch, really nice. A uh, Hanoi Jane's <laughs> urinal stickers, I like that. Uh, campus security. And uh, police unity tour. We ride for those who died. Patch really like that. Now, before we get a chance to look at uh, M six fifty two, let's get on to the bad news. Okay, the bad news. February, the first of February, around the eighth or so, there was a leaked memo from the Evergreen Packaging uh, Paper Mill over in Canton, North Carolina, that they were gonna idle one of their paper producing machines. I'm not sure what the terminology of it or whatever. And so that was kinda, you know, I thought, well, gosh, how's that gonna affect the railroad? Uh, and, it, you know, the, the management kinda came out and said, oh, this is gonna be temporary, or, you know, we're just looking at this to reevaluate. Well, I heard rumors today, and, I, and from credible sources, I, I can't reveal the sources like I'm a newspaper or something. I'm just not going to say who said it, uh, but I respect them enough to believe it, that uh, they announced today that the second quarter of this year, they're closing completely, stopping production on everything. And the reason that's bad news if you want to see something on Norfolk and Southern's loops at Old Fort, you've got a couple of months to do it. Uh, the first train that will be gone, wiped out completely, will be P87. P87 comes from Asheville down to Bridgewater, North Carolina, on the McDowell County, Burke County line, and picks up wood chips. Those wood chips goes solely to that mill in Canton, which they're gonna be closing. So unless, it is called Bristol Industries that makes the wood chips down here, unless that industry finds something to the east for those wood chips to go or on further west, that mill's gone too. So, you know, everybody's kind of been talking over the last years or so about, you know, is NS gonna sell the line to a short line? You know, is Blue Ridge Southern, which runs the line from Asheville to Canton, you know, are they gonna take over the line? Well, the Canton mill was probably 80, if not 90% of their workload. It, it may be a possibility that railroading in Western North Carolina from Marion on west is over, is gone. There is a few industries uh, 
right around Asheville that take some pelletized plastics. Uh, there's a couple of places in Black Mountain that take uh, uh, some tank cars of some type of chemical, uh, tar or something there. Anyway, I don't think all that would be enough to support even a, a medium-sized short line. It may be a mom and pops type thing where you got an old GP18 or something that you go all the way to Hickory to pick up some cars to come through, but I, this doesn't look good. I mean, it's heartbreaking. I, I, I'm pretty well sure that uh, if, if this does happen in, in Canton, that evergreen packaging shuts down in Canton, I mean, it's, it's bad. It, it, it's, it's bad. I just don't see Norfolk and Southern keeping anything west of maybe Morganton, I'd say west of Hickory. So, sign of the times. Uh, I guess either the type of paper that they make there at, uh, at that mill, we just don't use anymore. If it's print paper or, or what it is they, they do there. So, uh, I don't say a whole lot about religion on this channel uh, because I always think I've always thought that your relationship with your maker or no relationship with your maker is your business, not mine. But if you're praying, there's a lot of people out there, not just rail fans that's gonna have their heart broken like me not to see the trains anymore. There's people out there that that's their livelihood. There's people that's moved to be able to work at that plant. So when you go to bed tonight, say an extra prayer for everybody affected by the possibility, real good possibility that uh, this mill is closing. So let's jump over and uh, bring it up a notch to some happier times today. Let's go check out northbound M652 over at Moody Town.
like that train? All right, let's go get some candy. Okay. All right, hop in the back and get in your seat and we'll buckle you up. Okie dokie. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, remember those prayers. We'll see you tomorrow.